So before we were talking about how we make a new repository, we initialized it with a readme and it showed up in here. But what if you don't want to initialize it with a readme because you already have some code that you want to make a, um, a repository out of? So we're going to make GitHub 102. All right. So we're just making this folder up. Uh, we'll grab our new file and we'll drop it in there. And we'll say, hey, this is uh, a folder. And in this folder, we're going to have a new document. And we're going to call it Untitled Document. We'll just edit this to say hi. And we'll click Save. We'll close that. Um, <coughs> and we'll make another folder. And we'll create a new document in here. And we'll call this uh, Yo or You. Here we go. And in there, we'll say Yo and save that and close it and then we'll make a new um, let's say a readme.md this .md is for markdown and it's particular type uh, and so there's some rules about how you use markdown documents I'm not really going to get into it too much right now uh, but just that uh, be aware that that's a special type of document so we're going to save this and we'll close that. All right, so we've got this repository. We want to upload it onto here. And so a really easy way to do this is on the web GUI here, you can create a new repository and we'll call it GitHub 102. And our second test, GitHub, and it's public. And uh, we do not want to initialize it with the readme or any license files. We're just going to create the repository. And what do we see here? We have this list of options for how we can add our code that we've already got. So pushing, uh, pushing from the command line, essentially, what we need to do is we're going to change directory and get into our GitHub 102. And we see all our files in here. If we type git status, right, it's not a git repository, so it can't actually do anything. So one of the first commands that it has you run here is git init, right? Git init. And that means to initialize this folder, whatever folder you're in, as a repository, right? And it says, okay, I've made that a repository. Um, then you would git add. And in this case, we can add everything right that we want because we want to add all of these files and once we've done a git add of course we need to get commit right dash m and we'll say uh, our second uh, repo first commit right and now it's added all of those files to our repository here comes the magic we want it to get uploaded online Right now, if we were to look at it, it is a Git repository, but it's only locally on my machine. I want to add it to this repository. So I copy this line right here and paste it in. And so it's git remote add origin to be this website. Now if I git push dash u origin master, remember how we talked about you can choose where you want to push it to and what branch you want to push it to, right? Uh, it's going to ask for my password. Oh, helps if I type in the right password. And now it's going to upload that to uh, this branch. So if we refresh this page now, look, there's all of our files. So very handy way uh, if you didn't want to make a readme and then clone it and then check out your branches and then start putting your code in there. If you actually just have a folder with your code, you can just go to that folder, initialize a repository, and link it to your um, origin, right, your remote branch or whatever you want to call this, and then push uh, upload your files. Uh, likewise, if we take a look in our um, Git Kraken, we can open the repository and we see GitHub 
102, we say oh, OK, and look, there it is right here. Uh, likewise, if we create a third branch, say a new repository, we'll call this GitHub 103, and we'll say blah, 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 test. And we'll go ahead and make this one with a readme and we'll say, okay, let's, uh, we'll do the Apache 2.0 license. We'll create this repository. We have this one. Well, another cool thing that you can do if you want is you can actually clone it using Git Kraken. So you can say uh, github.com and it says, hey, here's all the ones that, that you've got. And we'll go with, uh, well, it hasn't caught up with 103 yet. Mm. Got to give it a minute here to catch up. Might even have to uh, exit out of the program, open back up, see if it'll reread my list of uh, available um, repositories. And of course I'm using Git Kraken non-commercially. You know, it's going to ask you that every now and then. So let's clone and we say github.com and let's see if that is on there now. Yep, there it is. So github 103, full path. Uh, where to clone to, let's put it into our um, Git Playground. We'll say OK. Clone the repository. It cloned it. Let's open it. And there we go. And so we see, if we look in here, we have GitHub 103. So plenty of fun, easy ways that you can uh, work with your repositories, you can work with your material and GitHub. So. Uh, we're going to look at, uh, we're still going to take a look at pull requests and forking as well. Um, but I just wanted you to be aware of these really great tools of how we can utilize this through Git Kraken, how we can do it through the command line, how we can do things through the web GUI. Hopefully this was helpful to you and we're also going to be looking at GitLab as well uh, because that's a pretty popular uh, tool to use as well.